Hi everyone, my name is Kate. Today we are going to be reviewing the new game, Fay Farm. Fay Farm might be my favorite cozy game of this year, and let's talk about why this magical game has my heart already. If you guys are not subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe as it really does help out my channel and I appreciate all of your support. Fay Farm is a cozy sim game that incorporates magic and enchanted twist. You start by creating your character and there's so many character customizations from different body types, skin colors, eye colors. Um, you can add blush, you can add freckles, so many different customizations, which I love in a game. The story is set in the world of Azoria, which you find after you discover a message in the bottle and wreck your boat. You're greeted by the mayor of Azoria and you're given a homestead and a farm. So I'm going to go into the features of the games um, and just kind of talk about what I like and what I dislike. So farming. <laughs> so this game has typical farming standards. I mean, you're planting crops and harvesting them. I like that when you're buying the seeds, it'll tell you how long it takes to harvest instead of like trying to figure it out on your own kind of thing. And the mechanics of farming in this game are relatively easy. There's no way to like ruin the crop on accident, which happens to me very often in farming sim games. So um, love that. You can also breed flowers in this game, which is really fun too. That's actually a quest that I'm currently working on. So catching bugs and fish in this game is also relatively easy. Um, I'm a huge critic on fishing and farm sim games. If it's too difficult or if I just don't enjoy fishing in a game, I won't do it unless I actually have to. Um, but in this case, I find fishing relatively easy and I actually kind of enjoy it, which is like so weird for me to say because like I hate the fishing in Animal Crossing. I hate the fishing in Stardew. But this, I like don't mind the fishing that much. Mining in the game is very, very fun. Um, I love a game where you can mine materials. <laughs> let's, let's just be honest. But um, mining in the game is really fun. So you'll start off by unlocking the saltwater mines. Then you'll unlock different floors, which will also unlock different materials. So for example, I think it's floor 12 where you unlock iron ore. There's also enemies in the mines that you'll have to combat with, and it's pretty fun. The cozy homestead in this game. So I love the plot that you're given. You're given like this little cottage home with this big farm, um, and you can have pets. And so right now I already have three chickens, and then I do want to get some little bunnies, so I'm going to work on that. Um, I believe you can also get cows and other farm animals as well and I'm really really excited to explore that. I'm so excited to decorate my home in this game. There's so many different items and there's like a rate of coziness too which I just love that so much. Now we'll talk about the characters in the game and the NPCs. Um, I do have some cons. <laughs> I feel like the characters in this game are just kind of like lackluster. Like they're almost like don't have a personality <laughs> I guess. Um, I mean I've just been chatting with them a few times and it just seems, they just seem pretty lackluster. I just feel like if you're looking for a game with like deep character involvement and being like immersed in the other characters that you might be a little bit disappointed with this. You can also build relationships and romance people in the game. Um, so there is that option to look at all of that, but it's very hard to distinguish. I'll say the one thing that I really do like about the characters is that they all just stay in like the town and they stay at their shop. So any time of the day, if you need something, you can always go to the shop. So I really like that aspect of it. So multiplayer in this game, I actually have not tried it yet. Um, so I don't really want to give my opinion on it. I'm not sure how well it works, um, if it's fun, what you have to do. So if anyone wants to play with me, let me know. Oh my god, let's talk about the graphics. So the graphics for me are a 10 out of 10. I think the game art is so stunning. I think it's so pretty. The world of Azoria is really, really cute. Um, I love all of the different characters. I love their names. I love all of like their different looks and their features. I feel like they did a really, really good job with the art in this game. Um, that I will definitely give a 10 out of 10, 100%. I think it looks really, really good. Um, and it's something that like that alone will make me want to play the game for a long time because it doesn't like hurt my eyes or anything. Um, there are times where the game can be a little bit glitchy, but um, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. So we can talk about the price point now. So it is $40 on Steam, so on the PC, but it is $60 on the Nintendo Switch. So I don't really know why that is. Um, I don't really understand why there is a different price point. Um, weird to me, I guess. 
this. Um, obviously, I don't understand why they did that. There's got to be a reason for it that I would imagine. Do you think that $60 is pretty steep for a game? I know that's like what a lot of games are valued at, so I understand. I think this is also just kind of like a personal preference. I think a game that costs $60, I have kind of like high expectations, I have high standards. How long am I going to play this game? Is it going to be worth it to me? So we'll see. I am really, really excited to play this game and I really, really want to put so many hours in it into it. So if I can put like a lot of hours into it, it would be worth it for me personally. So my overall thoughts, um, so far so good. Honestly, I can't stop playing since I've downloaded it. It's all that I'm thinking about. It's all that I want to play. Um, I'm really, really like happy that I have that excitement to play a game again. I feel like I haven't felt this way since like 2021 Animal Crossing where I just like go to work and I want to get home and play. So it's really fun to have that like excitement again. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to putting a lot of time into this game and making content on it. Um, I do like the game so far. I am really just hoping that this game lives up to my expectations since it was $60. I do think this game is fun and magical and I'm really excited to keep playing. It's really has me constantly craving to play it and I just love that so much. I also feel like there's so much for me to discover and explore. So yeah, that is my review for Fay Farm. If you guys like this video and want to see more content like this, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you're going to be playing Fay Farm and what your opinions are on it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.